Hello, we are Automation Plus, and today we would like to present this short video describing our latest application success story. We were presented with an opportunity to integrate a fiber laser marking on a polypropylene pipe extrusion line by one of our partners, a company leader in the industry dedicated to manufacturing industrial printers such as lasers, inkjet printers, thermal contact printers, etc. The application was to mark on various diameters of pipe extrusion. The challenge was to provide an integrated system that would meet the following specifications. The first, safety. Our goal was to provide an integrated solution that would be safe for their operators, maintenance workers, visitors, and all personnel. We needed to ensure that the laser would only mark when the extrusion was present and that when the laser was marking that we provided a system that would contain the laser light within an enclosure that would contain any laser light emissions thus rendering the system safe for operation. In order to accomplish this task we created a shroud which on the end closest to the laser head fit over the fiber laser lens. At the other end of the shroud and near the pipe extrusion we added brushes which during normal operation made direct contact with the extrusion pipe, creating an effective light curtain that would not allow any laser light to escape. To ensure the brushes were always acting as an effective light barrier, we installed a sensor detecting the distance between the extrusion and the shield. A determined maximum and minimum distances are programmed in our system. If the pipe is not present, or if the distance between the sensor and the pipe is too large, our integrated system sends a signal to the laser to stop its marking process, disabling the laser from marking. We have also added an interlocked door in the front of our enclosure, which operators can remove to clean the lens. A fume extraction system is extracting fumes that result from the marking process. The fumes are then filtered through a HEPA filter and a carbon filter, which effectively collect the dust particles and absorb any odor generated. Our next challenge was to ensure we maintained a constant focal distance between the laser and extruded pipe. With the pipe extrusion process, it is not uncommon for the pipe to have slight variations or a slight bounce as the pipe is extruded. When working with laser technology, it is crucial to maintain the proper focal distance between the laser and the substrate to ensure proper spot size of the beam. If the laser is not at the proper focal distance, the code quality suffers. With our distance sensor and our pipe tracking feature, we are able to effectively determine the variations in the pipe height, and with the high-speed servo motor controlling the distance of the laser, we are able to move the laser until it is at the proper focal distance. When the brushes are making contact with the pipe and the laser and enclosure at the proper distance, we enable our tracking feature. In the video, we used a black leather band to simulate the variations in pipe position relative to the laser. As you can see, as we place the leather band under the sensor, our system raises the laser with enclosure to adjust for the variation, ensuring the laser remains at the proper focal distance at all times. Also on our list was to ensure the changeover process between the different products and pipe diameters was as easy, repetitive, and as painless as possible. After a product changeover, the operator jogs down the position of the laser and enclosure by using our touchscreen display. By using the jog down button, the operator lowers the system until the brushes make contact with the extruded pipe. The operator then uses the touchscreen controller as a reference to determine if the position is correct. The pipe OK button on the lower left side of our touchscreen will change from red, not OK, to green when the sensor determines the proper distance is achieved. Again, these positions are determined during setup. Once the brushes have been lowered to ensure safe operation and the pipe OK button has turned green, the operator will then press the green start button on the laser system, which begins the marking process. Please notice the laser off button is red until the pipe OK button is green and we have pressed the green start laser button on the front of the laser's power supply box. For safety, if the pipe is not present, if our e-stop is pressed, 
or if the access door is open, our system disables the laser from marking, and the laser button on our touchscreen controllers turns red, an indication that the laser is disabled. Last, when production schedules call for a change of product, the operators use a weld to couple in the next product to be run. This weld can range from a quarter inch in height and when changing over to a larger pipe diameter can be up to six inches. In the past, if the operators or maintenance personnel neglected or forgot to remove their past marking system, the weld would make contact or would crash into the printer resulting in very costly repairs to the marking system and hours of unplanned downtime. Our challenge was to ensure that our system remained safe and intact in the event of a large weld were to present itself in front of our system. As you can see in the video, this was an actual product changeover where the weld was half an inch thick. As the weld is in front of our sensor, our system senses the change in height of the extrusion and immediately raises the laser and enclosure safely out of any possible harm that could be caused by the weld. As you can see in our touchscreen display at the right top corner, the display shows a fault. The pipe OK button turns from green to red pipe off. We disable the laser and the laser status light turns from green to red and laser is off. To resume the marking process, the operator clears the fault, enabling the servo drive, jogs the position of the laser and enclosure until the brushes make contact with the pipe. You will notice the pipe OK button turns green once the system is in the proper position. Now in order to properly track the pipe, the operator must also press our track option button. At this point, the laser is still disabled. The operator must then press the green button on the laser power supply cabinet and the marking process resumes. Thank you for watching this short video, we hope you enjoyed it. Remember, for all your difficult, complex, fully integrated marking solutions, call us. We are Automation Plus. Have a great day.